What's up, y'all? So, today's video, I just wanted to come on here and talk because I was a little frustrated. And this is just me venting. I'm on my patio. I was supposed to do um, a video, basically, it was supposed to be about, um, I was going to do like patio chats. I mean, not patio. I was down at the pool. I was down at the pool. Everything was so perfect about the video, but my edges was looking white because I had put some edge control on. But this was going to be about two things. I'm frustrated about two things. I'm frustrated because I'm like, I, I can't put the video out. You know what I'm saying? I was starting my new little sessions, but I can't put the video out because... I'm just not going out like that. Like my my hair was white. It was. It, I just can't do it. So I'm frustrated about it. But you know, you still gotta get the content out. So this is my video. Just me vent, straight vent. That's what it's gonna be titled as. I just need to vent. First of all, let me tell y'all what happened to me today. So boom. I have okay. So I'm back home, right? Like some people that a guy that I know from back home. He lives down here now, and he lives down here with his girlfriend. Me and him never dated, never nothing like that. He's just like the homie or whatever. Long story short or whatever, this is what I'm tired of. I'm tired of people calling me only when they need me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't call, you don't call any other time. You don't text any other time. But when you need me, you want to call me, which is not fair. So, let me take the situation. So, boom, last night he texted me and was like, um, last night at 10, 10 01, he texted me, what you doing? Mind you, he was in the city. I let him come to the city on they was here for three days from the well two days i'm sorry not three days but they was down here for two days they was barely around but it was on the fifth and the sixth right boom mind you my birthday just passed he knew my birthday was coming nigga didn't say happy birthday nothing they just came to my house or whatever case and was hanging out they went out they went to the mall they did all that stuff whatever and it's like it's cool um, you know what I'm saying? Because I allowed that, right? I was like, okay, cool. I haven't seen him in so many years. So I was like, oh, I want to see him. I haven't seen him. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it was like, I just want to catch up. This was somebody that I used to be around every fucking day, okay? Ten years ago, though. Ten years ago. Things have changed. He's changed. I've changed. He's, you know what I'm saying? All that, or whatever. And so he just like, so then boom, that happens or whatever case is. So today, right? He texted me that last night. Today he texted me. He, he kept blowing my phone up. He just kept calling me. Like he called me last night. He called me today. He just kept calling, and I'm not answering. I'm not not answering. He said, "Call me real quick, please." I didn't. I didn't call. And then so I said, "Work call." I was lying. He said, "You at home?" And I just didn't even respond back to that. I said, "You okay?" He said, "Hell no." Nah. Listen, I'm gonna come down there tonight and get on a plane tomorrow. He, and I didn't respond. He called me twice. I said, I'll call you back. He said, nigga, I'm going to be down on the night. So then I said, no, you're not. He said, man, nigga, I'm just staying for the night. I'm getting on the plane in the morning. Don't be weird. I don't care about what you got going on. And then I didn't respond for a long time. And then he said, never mind, fuck you. On um, whatever. So I responded and said, first off, you don't get to tell me you're coming. The correct way and the polite thing to do is ask if I'm okay with you coming. Especially being so last minute. Not even especially being last minute. You ask somebody. I'm a grown ass woman. You don't tell me you're coming to my house. Nigga, who the fuck do you think you is? Like, you ain't paying on my bills. You ain't helping me. Why do you think that you can tell me what the fuck you about to do over here? Even if you was. Can a nigga, if a nigga was helping me with my bills, he can't tell me what nothing. Well, yeah, he could. But you know what I'm saying. Like, you don't get the, you don't, you don't. And you ain't my nigga. You ain't never fucked me, touched me, nothing. Then I said, and that's fine. It can be fuck me. I'm not being weird either. So respectfully, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm going to just say this. I'm tired of people. I be like, like even like the last time, I let, I let my ex stay here. I let one of my homegirls stay here. And I appreciate my homegirl because she left me this skincare stuff that I've been using look at my skin it's looking good but she, she you know what i'm saying like she did it the right way she said thank you for letting me stay there she left she left something i ain't charge y'all nothing my ex i let him stay here you know what i'm saying he he only called when he needs something he came in town i let him stay in my house whatever which which is my fault i had no business let him stay in my house anyway but then he like um he's like what the fuck he said to me he was like uh he didn't tell me thank you nothing like he didn't tell me when he left he didn't tell me thank you just, just, just people are just unappreciative, and then, the, and then, and then you don't call. My birthday passed. Like it's just little things. Like my nigga, like quit calling me when y'all, when y'all, when you just need me. Because the normal thing people do, like you don't check on nobody. 
But you, but when you oh Zoe let out now let me call her. You ain't called me in a month of Sundays. Why the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And then me, the person I am, I just be like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Just try to accommodate everything for everybody. No, I'm done doing that shit. I'm really I'm over doing that shit. I'm not doing. I'm not being accommodating. I'm not being nice. If anybody needs something from me, I don't got it. Nope, I can't do it. Like only people that I can, I honestly say, and I can name drop everybody that I will willingly do something for. But other people, hell no, nah. no, because people be taking my kindness for weakness, and it's to the point where I get tired of that shit. Like I get tired of people just only motherfucking calling when they fucking need something. I don't know who the fuck people think I am. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you ain't got no blood running through me, and even if you got blood running through me, but especially if we ain't got no blood, the same blood running through each other, stop. You know what I'm saying? I already have a problem with the motherfuckers that's blood that do the shit, you know? But anyways, it's just like, that pissed me off today. And then what else pissed me off? Okay, then, okay, yeah. The video, I, I really wanted to do this video, whatever the case is. And I, I just really think that I'm just not prepared. I think I need to get more equipment and um, all that good stuff. I think I need to get more equipment for... It's kind of like, because it's kind of like a podcast, but it's not really a podcast. I'm not trying to do podcasts. It just, I want to just have conversations about a boo. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, my hair is looking raggedy. You know, I, I try to make myself look as, as, as nice as possible, but I just couldn't. So, I'm going to just look frustrated today, and I'm just getting That is just, that's all. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, it is everything. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just irritated. That one situation pissed me off. And then, y'all, I ain't even gonna tell y'all about last night. I gotta tell y'all, I'm gonna go live and tell y'all about last night, about the whole situation, about when I was supposed to go on a date with the dude. That shit was an epic feel. I'm just over all of it. I'm just over everything right now. Today is just like one of the days where, bitch, I don't, bitch, I don't feel like it. So, I just been in, well, I sat down there for hours and recorded. And guess what I'm about to do today? I'm about to sit my ass down, watch Tubi, watch Long Order, because Long Order come on at like set 9 o'clock. I'm about to sit home, watch Tubi, watch Long Order, and chill and vibe. And that's what I'm doing. So, I feel like this video, I just want to let y'all know. Sometimes, learn how to say no. And if it's bothering me to say no, to have to do that, to say no to him. But, it, but it's okay though. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta set those boundaries. And it's so hard for me to set boundaries. And I feel good that I did today. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's fucking with me a little bit, it's on my brain and it's making everything else be like 10 times more worse. Because tell people no. And I feel like, damn, I don't know what he's going through. You know what I'm saying? I want to always have this want to save people complex. Like I always be like, you know what I'm saying? And I want him to be able to come here. But it's just a certain way that you gotta talk to people because if I was your granny you wouldn't well yo I don't know it's just certain ways you just gotta I just I learn learning how to set boundaries is really hard for me y'all that's all it is setting boundaries make me feel really have y'all ever done something and y'all have like this guilty feeling basically that's how I feel like or what is it called with a guilty conscience and you just have that that weird feeling like oh my god I know I did it you have a you know a guilty conscience I feel like when I set boundaries, I have a guilty conscience, and I don't feel like that's really good because I don't know. Now I feel weird. Now I feel like fucked up, and it's just like my energy is off. Like everything about my energy is off. But I'm gonna feel good because if he would have came here and I didn't want him to be here, I would have been irritated and I would have been annoyed. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm happy that I set the boundaries because I know if he would have came here, I would have been even more annoyed. And I probably would have locked myself in my room. And I feel like I shouldn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have to do that. If I don't feel like I have a company, I don't feel like I have a company. If I don't, you know what I'm saying? I love you. You know what I'm saying? I hope you're okay. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you're a grown man. Go get a hotel. You know? Like, and, and this is another thing. So, back in the day, right, when we used to hang out with each other, like, my house used to be, like, the party house where everybody would go to. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody would come to my house. Like, they didn't have to call me. They would just pop up at my house. You know what I'm saying? Knock on the door. I open the door. It was just like the hangout spot. My house was a hangout spot. But that's when I was a, a young girl, a young lady, a young, younger woman, younger lady or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. But now I'm a grown woman. I'm 30 some years old. Like we not in our, we not no 19, 20 year olds anymore. You can't just be coming up with my shit thinking you can come up with my shit just because you want to come to my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like no, we had like it don't work that way. 
motherfucker, he got his, like, I don't pop up with his shit, with his bitch. I can't pop up with my shit. And, um, and that's just, even if it was my brother, even if it was my brother Levi, you know what I'm saying? Levi would call me, ask me first. You don't get to, um, do that, you know? So, yeah, this being, this, boundaries, set boundaries, set boundaries. And uh, this video also was about me setting boundaries. I'm just being into, but also we got to still get the content out. So I had to record this, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's it y'all. What else I want to talk about? I think I got a headache because I ain't really ate nothing all day. But I don't really want to eat shit. I really ain't got an appetite. So, that may be another reason why I'm feeling this way. I'm feeling a little irritated. It feels so good in Georgia. Listen, it was like 85 degrees today, y'all. And, um, yeah, I got outside in the sun. Y'all, can y'all tell? I'm getting dark. Because I be going in the sun every day. I haven't walked today. I didn't walk yesterday. I didn't walk today. But I'm going to go walking. I did walk yesterday. No. I don't know. I, did. I think I did. I don't know. But I'm going to go walking probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow I'll get out and go walking. It's Friday. Yeah, probably go walk. You know. Um, but yeah, that's really it. That's all. That's all I want to talk about today. I love y'all. I'm out.